Caricature, the use of exaggerated features for comedic effect. Politicians and celebrities alike often face caricature. So if I take a look at President Biden, I notice that his nose is emphasized. When I look at Vladimir Putin, I can see that his nose is exaggerated there. So basically the exaggeration is done so that we can kind of know who it is. Let's look at this example, Ukraine. When I look at what's going on in this picture, I see a scarecrow that's unable to move and has a bunch of crows on it. And that scare, and I see that there is a tank going by. When I look closer, I see that they're in the Ukraine and Joe Biden is standing in a cornfield as a scarecrow trying to scare off the crows and problems, but isn't scaring off anything here. And it says, he's okay with minor incursions, says one of the crows, as Putin goes by and Putin is kind of smiling. When I put this all together, I get the idea from this political cartoon that this cartoonist believes that Joe Biden is not scaring uh, Vladimir Putin away from the Ukraine. And so that's the main point of this political cartoon. Parody is another effective political cartoon technique. It uses humorous or sarcastic use of popular works of art, like TV shows, movies, fairy tales, board games, etc., to make a point. And kits do this really well. Um, there's a lot of success. For example, I could use Harry Potter if I'm used to that. I could have Voldemort represent a problem, and Harry Potter, um, as he's killing a Horcrux, be a problem solver. I could take games that I'm used to playing and use that as a parody as well. Let's take a look at this example. Title, A Game of Risk. When I look at what's going on, I can see that there's a hand playing the game of risk, where the objective is to gain territory. When I look closer, I can see that the risk is Ukraine edition right here, and I can see that is Vladimir Putin who is playing the game and using a Soviet style kind of dice and the tanks are moving towards it suggesting war. By using this board game that many people know, it helps us understand the point that this author is trying to make, which is it's a risky game that Putin's playing with the Ukraine. Finally, let's take a look at sarcasm. Sarcasm is a political cartoon technique where there's a biting, cutting, often ironic remark used to make fun of someone or something. Let's take a look at this example. Afghan withdrawal is the title. When I look at what's going on in the picture, I can see uh, a blimp that has run into it and you have a press conference going on in front. When I read closer, I see that it's the Afghan withdrawal that is blown up and exploding. And I see it's President Joe Biden because there's a caricature and he says, this was the most successful landing in history. I get from this political cartoon that this cartoonist believes that the Afghan withdrawal was anything but successful because of the explosion of the blimp in the background. Sarcasm is one that can be hard or easy to get. You just kind of have to feel this technique. Final hints. Use things that are familiar and part of everyday life symbols like home life, school, games, lunches. In this case, using Santa's sleigh makes it easier for us to understand. Pick symbols you know. Make sure it's a cartoon and not a picture. You need to use one of these techniques